I would now like to take a look at the preparation of mango powder. By way of background, in July 2015, I was asked to investigate the preparation of mango powder or powdered mango since it was of potential interest as a value-added product. The following is a summary of an initial test to develop a process for it. As a starting point, firm Julie Variety mangoes were purchased at a local supermarket. Some internet sources state that unripe mangoes should be used. However, only slightly ripe mangoes were available, so they were used in these tests. As stated, two Julie mangoes were used. They were a product of Mexico. The weight of these mangoes combined was 654.9 grams. And here we see the mangoes. The mangoes were washed thoroughly and peeled to remove the skin. The mangoes were shaved into very thin slices using a peeler as shown in this photograph. And that gave us long, thin slices as indicated in the right hand photograph. The weight of the peels which were removed was equal to 73.8 grams. The weight of the stones and the mango flesh adhering to them was 80.6 grams. This gave us an unusable portion weight of 154.4 grams. The initial weight of the mangoes was 654.9 grams. The weight of the unusable material was 154.4 grams and that was the loss. This then gave us a weight of usable mango flesh of 500.5 grams. Of the initial weight of 500.5 grams of mango flesh we did not use 108.9 grams of it so we ended up putting 391.6 grams of mango shavings into the dryer. The mango shavings were placed in a Nesco Garden Master food dehydrator which was set for 130 degrees Fahrenheit which is approximately 55 degrees Celsius. A plastic mesh was used to prevent the pieces of mango from adhering to the dryer racks. And here you see the fresh mango shavings on the plastic mesh in the dryer. The ambient air temperature was 25 degrees Celsius and it was estimated that the relative humidity on that day was 60 percent. Drying was allowed to proceed for approximately nine hours. The mango shavings were not turned over during this time. Here is a photograph showing the almost dry mango slices on the plastic mesh on one of the dryer trays. The dried mango slices were then removed from the plastic mesh and weighed. Their weight was 102.7 grams. So the weight of the water removed from the shavings would equal the starting weight of 391.6 grams minus the weight of the dry material, 102.7 grams. So we know we removed 288.9 grams of water from the shavings. Since we got 102.7 grams of dried product from 391.6 grams of mango shavings, we could expect to get 131.3 grams of dried product from 500.5 grams of mango shavings, which is the weight of the mango shavings that we got from the two mangoes that we used. So we would have to remove 369.2 grams of water in that process. Several grams of shavings were set aside for retention and the remainder of the dried shavings were ground in a Black & Decker kitchen blender to form small particles or powder and here we see the blender that was used. It was difficult to get all of the dried mango shavings ground to a fine powder using that kitchen blender. Some of the powder stuck to the inside of the blender and we ended up getting 87.0 grams of powder plus the dried shavings that we had set aside and we also have to acknowledge the losses that was stuck in the blender. Here we see the powder in a small white dish and you can see some of the clumping that we observed. The material was quite hygroscopic 
That means it absorbed moisture from the air, and as I already said, it clumped together as well as sticking to the blender and the bowl surfaces. So the initial mango flesh was not as moist as most mangoes tend to be. We estimated that the moisture was 78 to 80 percent. And the final product was clumping and holding water, so it was probably around 15 percent moisture. The final powdered product retained its orange color and was quite sweet due to the natural sugars that were present. Overall, we were quite encouraged by the product and could see its potential for use as a sweet powder in various recipes. So what I would like to recommend is that future tests be done with less ripe mangoes to see what type of powder would result from that process. Thank you very much.